Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to another spooktacular episode of the Who Do You, Do you Think, Think You Are podcast. <laughs> this is episode 171. And as always, I'd like to take this time to ask each and every one of you to please go to the YouTube, type us into the search bar. It takes you but two minutes. It means nothing to you, it means everything to us. All right. We're the first ones that come up. Hit the like, hit subscribe. And by doing so, you are automatically entered to win the possibility of a position here at the WDUTUR studio. Did you guys know that? We're giving it away. That's right, folks. We're looking for a new director of photography, and we need to fill that position fast, okay? Also, check out the social medias at WDUTUR pod across all platforms. That's what? WDUTUR pod across all platforms. Hey, Nick. Hey, Pedro. Who do you think, think you are? <laughs> Hello, I am Dr. Fauci, and there's some news out there that is not true. And you know what? We're in a safe place. I don't need to wear this thing anymore, man. <gasps> Oh, how dare you? You forget how bad the rules they enforce actually are when you start, you know, going by them. Camera's on, Fauci. Camera's on. Camera's on. But it's Halloween. Camera's on. Shirt's off, boys. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who do I got over there, dude? Me? Yeah. Well, I'm one of the fancy assistants at the laboratory, my friends. Oh, wow. Yeah, we fucking did some shit to this dude. What's your name? D Bark Fauci. D Bark Fauci. Keep your mouth shut over there. Uh, I'm Chris James. Follow me online at CJ Talks Funny for brand new jokes all week long. I'm a lesbian dog today. A bitch. Wow. That earlier, you're just going to say that, dude? We're allowed to say it. YouTube said. <sighs> Two minutes in, you can say bitch? It, it, the whole time. Bitch isn't one of the... Don't um, keep saying it. Yeah, well, Jeez. it's a bad word. To, I don't like hearing it. <laughs> I said it. You know what I mean? God, yeah. masks are terrible, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> but we have a good collaborative uh, costume today for those <laughs> listening at home. And, you know, it's all about these new documents about Fauci coming up that he was abusing animals, man. Unbelievable. And if you think COVID was bad, just wait till you hear what he did with beagles, man. This shit's heartbreaking. This shit is heartbreaking. So sad, man. Yeah, dude. Puppy gate. It's the new puppy gate. Yeah. So what he would get what he got beagles and then he would... Put their heads inside these little traps and have flies just gnaw at them. Yeah, they had hungry. They were testing um, sand flies that carried a certain type of parasite um, because dogs in the area carried the parasite and uh, would give it to. Let me get the net. They would they would transfer it to people. So they're trying to test it. And what they would do is they would take the uh, the dogs and lock their heads in these nets. <laughs> And heal them with love and kindness and diversity. I believe Fauci had nothing to do with that, dude. He didn't even know. He had yeah. everything to do with it, and it was good. Yeah, he locked their heads in, in like little net oh. containers, and he uh, and then fed the, the hungry sand flies the dog's head while they're alive. Uh. And ran tests that way. They also had an, uh, experiments uh, at the NIH where they were doing. They would take. They took baby monkeys away from uh, their mothers right at birth, and then they would. They did an experiment on their brain to um, increase the fear response, mm -hmm. and then they put like little toys and like toy snakes and like a Mr. Potato Head doll and stuff around them um, yeah. to test how f how scared they could make them. That's very yeah. That's very brave new world. The, the, they would do the Statistic. tree stick. Yeah, with the, how they would make the kids and to do their certain jobs when they got older, right? Yeah, they shock them when when they're on the floor and stuff like that, craving attention. It's exa exactly the same thing. So we're there. We're there, and now you know. Oh, I well, yeah, and they cut the dog's vocal cords so that the scientists didn't have to be perturbed by yeah, the so they'd hear their, That's oh, so fucked. I know. Up, dude. What's so fucked about that too? Do you know any? Uh, have you like heard a dog that's had that surgery done before? Yeah. They like they still whimper. So it's almost sadder because like they're not barking, but they're still like, yeah. you can hear them like kind of like whistling through this weird. Yeah. Dude, it sounds like yeah, my grandpa it. when he had throat cancer. <laughs> <laughs> that was rough. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard a dog try to bark after being debarked, dude. And it is like a, just like a bitch hollow cough. Dude. Yeah, they're just like, 
<laughs> but the whimpering, I think, would get me the most. Yeah. yeah. That's fucked up. It is fucked up. Man. Yeah, they actually um, cut their vocal cords for you so that you don't have to have a, a hard time. I mean, I appreciate it. You know, running your experiments. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to feel bad for the dog. And you, as Nurse Pedro, um, Pedro's a nurse today, uh, you actually just got let go, if I'm not mistaken, because of the mandates they were Correct. they were mandating at your hospital. I walked out. All the nurses had to go in and do Last a certain year's amount. Heroes. Last because year's they're heroes. On, yeah, because they're on the front line and inter, inter, you know, interface with patients and stuff. Yeah. There's a certain amount of TikTok videos you had to do, and Pedro wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do the TikTok videos? No, so dude, I'm, not titty, I'm not titty dropping, dude. You got the ass yeah. for it. No, well, the ass qualifies, but the titties don't. Yeah. Yeah, Pedro's Hospital said you got to do this many titty drops, otherwise the people are going to start turning on us. And really? He, couldn't, he wouldn't do it. So I stand with you, Pedro, as Thanks, a man. lesbian bitch. That's your, her name, Pedro? I'm going to get to you later. Hey, babe, you can sit on my lap anytime. You can sit on <sighs> Dr. Fauci's lap anytime you'd like. I promise you that. I'm sensing a little heat here between the doc mm-hmm. and the nurse. Oh, what's the dog doing there? Red oh. rocket, <laughs> dude. Oh. I bet you Fauci God, has a dude. serious red rocket if you think about it. You think so? Yeah. And you know what? This is a this is a bummer, man. Animal torture kills me. I love animals so much. You know, it's it's weird. It is a we you know, it's everybody talks about this. It's like you can watch kids get killed in movies, not even kids, but like people, humans die yeah, in movies, yeah. and you're just like, oh, whatever. But like then you see like a dog and like the butterfly effect, they put a bag over and light it on fire and like you're just what the fuck is wrong? You know what I mean? It's like animal be why why is that, do you think? I don't know, dude, but we're putting COVID on the back burner for it. Well, yeah, it's interesting. So to answer your question, I think that um, that it's because we because people we assume a certain amount of agency for people, maybe not for children. Mm. Um, and I don't think most people watch scenes with children being mutilated and just go, ah, I can I can. Uh, suspend my disbelief. I think people have the same reaction a lot to children as they do animals. I guess I meant like humans, adults, yeah, whatever. Definitely, yeah. but that's what I mean is that I think because um, because children and animals kind of sit in the same spot where you're mm. you're a caretaker. Oh, for them. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that makes sense. You're a good lap dog, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> good bitch. And uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm vaccinated already. <laughs> This is the new booster. Yeah, yeah, For those dude. listening at home, Nick's vaccinated me twice. Dude. I yeah, hope the next like, injection is... You got four booster shots on your... Hell yeah, dude. Gosh, dude. What? Do- yeah, Dr. Dr. Shots, shots dude, here, dude. A.K.A. No Fauci, dude. is tearing apart this. Looking like Dr. Thoughts. What happened to this lab rat? Uh? <laughs> What's he doing over You're there, on, dude? dude. <laughs> he's trying to get <laughs> to his fellow... He's trying to get to his fellow fucking dog friend over here, dude. He's like, I'll save you, dude. And Noki is an adorable skeleton today. Dude. Noki, say hello. What? Noki. What kind of imagery are you trying to put across? You're Dr. Fauci with a dog on your lap, dude. <laughs> are you th- are <laughs> he speaks German. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. man. Sorry about all Bad boy, Noki. Yep. Nine. <laughs> you know what, Noki? <laughs> <laughs> Bring in the flies. I wonder if there's like an unnecessary scream before they shoot. <laughs> yeah. They swab so it dramatic. down, clean it up, it, drown, it out. It drowns the whimpers, dude. Yeah. Of the dog. <laughs> Anything to drown the whimpers. That's, Fauci, that's like on Fauci's like hospitals testing lab. <laughs> Man, but think about all the weird testing things that we have no idea about too. Like how, how long ago was this? Uh, that the experiments were taking yeah. place? I believe it was like three years ago. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Well, well, really? Yeah, like or like maybe Pretty 2017, recent. something mm. like that, I think. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, like it's all within the last several years. Um, it was during the Trump administration for sure. I believe it was 2017. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well. You think Trump knew, dude? Of course. Um, I believe they were trying to... Uh, there was, it, it, there was um, a, an article. I think Tucker just had somebody on from PETA. And uh, they were saying, um, and he introduced it as, you know, uh, you would, it's an unlikely pair, uh, you, you know, combining to, to share the same message here. But um, PETA and, and Trump were kind of in uh, the same lane because basically Trump was trying to end funding to NIH. Um, mm. Maybe not over the animal testing. I don't know what exactly. Um, probably because he was like, oh, this is crazy. Let's maybe not fund. Trump always hated you then, dude. dude. I don't know, like, yeah, it's hard true. to say why, but yeah, basically, uh, PETA was, like, supporting that that decision. Um, mm. PETA's actually finally come out with a statement yesterday. It took them that's that gay? long. 
Huh? They came out? They did come out. Pete has always been gay. That's true. Yeah. Uh, they came out with a statement yesterday finally saying um, to fire NIH director Francis Collins. Mm. So they still got Fauci's back. They're not letting you go, boy. Why? I mean, thank you. First of all, it is crazy how much I've gotten away with. It's almost hilarious. You know, like how much. Comical for sure. I mean, COVID was my fault. I funded COVID. <laughs> it's getting Christian. It's getting YouTube. Yeah. I mean, this is Halloween. You know, speaking of medical experiments and stuff like that, I watched the, you know, the M. Night Shyamalan movie, Old. And want me to spoil alert the ending? Spoiler alert. So, you know, his movies are, somebody said it was, um entertainingly terrible or interestingly terrible and it's 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 true like his movies are captivating because there's always this plot twist you know because they go so people go to this island and they go to this resort and they're on this beach and all of a sudden they start aging super rapidly right oh, yeah, yeah yeah so they're trying to escape and they can't escape so they, they start figuring out like every half an hour is this amount of like years in your life that you that you age so if you like go to these weird vortexes you just you black out because you can't like run through time that quickly Turns out what happens is on that beach is basically like they're lab rats for people that they would only be with people that had diseases prior and they would inject them with something like some kind of cancer medicine or something for any kind of disease. So then when they're on this island, it's like they were there for five years, but it was only one day. So they could really see like how the, the, the effects, the of, effects the of the it. medicine. Oh, so it's like kind of shit. how like with COVID, we're giving people these vaccines. We don't know what's going to happen to them in 10 years. They were testing to see what was going to happen Whoa. to them in 10 years before, <laughs> before shooting them. Were these. you involved in the movie, Fauci? I think it was a great idea. <laughs> basically, they were just doing NIH tests on people. Yeah, dude. Yeah, basically. Uh, which, by the way, if all of this crazy, you know, there's there's every level of black budget thing happening, including mm. uh, EcoHealth just... It, uh, it was just uh, admitted that they're working on like added fear and cleavage sites into bat uh, coronaviruses and stuff like that. The very thing that is happening right now, they were trying to do, they tried to get a grant for and they got denied. Mm. Uh, so if they're doing all of that, which is uh, against the law, by the way, where we have international and uh, federal laws against uh, like certain types of gain of function research and dangerous or research. Or EPPP. Same shit. Yeah. That's how they masked it, dude, to confuse the people. What? Mask up? Double mask. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of weird conspiracies going on right now. Oh, yeah. The other one oh, yeah, was, but uh, I was just going to say, do you think yeah. they're not experimenting on human beings? No, 100%. Somewhere. Yeah. For sure. For sure. And I care more about the dogs. King Chris Kid. Low key? Same. Yeah. <laughs> High key, dude. Yeah. Uh, no fab, dude. Yeah. What was I going to say, dude? Where, oh, yeah. That, so, like, the other conspiracy I thought was interesting because I love JFK is how did you see how Biden pushed back the release of records of JFK's assassination due to COVID? Yeah, yeah due to COVID. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't even, like, what was actually the, that's what the headline was. It's like the flights was, being delayed, dude, because of fucking <laughs> the weather. Air traffic control. Yeah. The weather's too nice to be locked inside <laughs> of an airplane all day. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we delayed the release because we need the CIA still. <laughs> and you guys are going to get really mad when Except, you find out. Yeah, when you find out that, like, yeah, we need to do more investigating and ex like examining yeah. in the re reports of basically what we can white out or something. It's insane. I mean, yeah. at this point, the magic bullet theory and everything has been so disproven and everything that it just, I mean, JFK is like the first, like, you know, the 9 11, dude. It just, it slowly starts. You can't hide all the secrets for so long. Like, start. Things start uncovering. People start asking oh, yeah. questions. These people that study it for 20 years and stuff like that, yeah. that don't just get f thrown into this new narrative. Like, people look over here, look too. over here. Yeah. So, yeah, shout out to uh, David Talbot, Devil's Chessboard. Check that book out. I know I need to. Yeah, dude. Because, I mean, that lays out the case. Like, Alan Dulles killed JFK. Like, well, that's it. He didn't pull the trigger, but he was the one responsible mm -hmm. more than like him and a few, you know, a handful. And he was the head of, of the CIA? Him and a handful of people. Yeah. Was that what Alec Baldwin said to you? What was it like? You think I'm fucking with you? <laughs> <laughs> and then pow! You know that? Do you know that uh, two other misfires happened on that set of that movie? What? Yep. Yeah, I read this dude. Uh, this uh, so he tried prop. a couple times before. And so yes, but basically what happened was uh, this one prop master. Matt, Matt, is that what it's called? Yeah, it's he, master, he, yeah, he was doing it for. 20, 30 years, and he turned down the role because it was like they wanted just like low budget. They're trying to take all these shortcuts and stuff like that with the props and everything. And then, so uh, one of the other guys leaked that like, yeah, two other misfires happened prior to this. And like, yeah, with uh, Baldwin, it was just like he was practicing with his holster, being like, <laughs> yeah, pointing it <laughs> at, at the, the director yeah. and the bitch. Yeah, 
Oh, I'm sorry. I just called her a bitch. Well, she's you're, dead you're now, dude. Sure. I'm also she's a bitch. dead. So I can say it. She's dead. Yeah, she won't mind. Yeah. They her her husband and nine year old might. <laughs> <laughs> they don't watch the show. They and should. if they do, then you Comment of the week. Dude. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Um, Stay tuned. Dude, I, but that, the, I mean, maybe it's a huge, like, I don't know, jump, but the tie to the Clinton somewhere. It is weird that there's fingerprints. Anywhere, yeah. The woman, oh, yeah, the woman's husband, uh, worked was, for the uh, for a, a law firm who uh, worked against represented the Clintons during Russia, right? Yeah, and stood behind him, right, like inside a court and everything. So if that's like a signal to it, isn't it? Like, I mean, yeah. So you saying, that's motherfucking Alec Baldwin's just a little scapegoat, doggy? No, he's the he's the trigger. He's a yeah. Yeah, assassin. But yeah, but they're using they're using him as. Yeah. Pretty much like oh, they're using somebody in Hollywood to perpetrate a message of the deep state. <laughs> yeah, Pedro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dog. I haven't, I haven't had much you sleep lately. <laughs> <laughs> we will find out the answer to those questions. <laughs> I don't know if we will, but yeah, that 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 there is a strange. It's just weird that you get a whiff of it around it. Yeah, like it's, there's always three degrees of separation from not murder to the Clintons. I know, exactly. Like, the like there shouldn't be something that closely knitted to it. Yeah. Always, Straight, right? Yeah. Always. Yeah. What's the their Clintons fucking, are the Kevin Bacons of murder. Yeah. What's their rap sheet look like? What's their their murder It's list, up to like 40-something. Holy shit. I'm pretty shit. sure, right? Of like the weird bodyguards Confirmed that have died kills. after. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. A couple of CKs, bruh. It's kind of dope, honestly. Though That's low key, as fuck, dude. it's super, it's super dope. <laughs> Yo, That's why I've always been saying Bill Clinton was the first black president before Obama, <laughs> before, uh, Obama before Trump, dude, dude. and before Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, then shout out another conspiracy, dude, Brian Brian Laundry. Oh, dude, R.I.P. He's or... e eaten alive. Eaten alive? Was that what they said? I think his body was all like, mutilated by alligators and stuff like that. That's why like the remains were at first. They're like, oh, it's going to be difficult to see who Identify. it is. But it's like an hour later. Like, then yeah, 45 minutes later, yeah. it's like, yeah, that's him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's Dude. him. Yeah. yeah, I'd recognize that <laughs> section of torso anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had an Audi. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, like strange wild, though. But, I think Fauci was doing experiments on him, dude. If you mm. found him mutilated and tortured, dude. Uh, dude, he's hanging out with because uh, they they were like great distraction. You you murdered that bitch, distracted the whole nation for us from all this uh, mm -hmm. heat that we were getting. He's hanging out with Kurt Cobain somewhere, kicking his feet up mm. and Damn. having sex with minors. Best buds. King dude. Well, going back to what you said, like with like using them for lab rats, just like that, that is a conspiracy that people that get lost in the woods forever, like they are taken by the CIA or deep state and then perform these kind of yeah. tests and stuff on them. But mm. I don't know. I don't, at least I don't get a whiff of that with this case. I don't know what it is, but it just feels off. If for me, it feels like they're just trying to close the book so it doesn't make them look bad. Like you can yeah, literally yeah. get away with murder if you go into the woods <laughs> and like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Or it, I don't, I don't know. And you're white. And you yeah, they're like, we're going to have copycat national forest murders I mean, in no time. I kind of feel like that, no? Don't, don't you feel like, well, also, like, they don't want the police force to look bad, the search force, like, yeah. be like, we have no idea. Where, like, no, like, with the technology and everything now, like, I think a lot of the narrative between people, and I think that's why our, like, government likes it. It's like, dude, you can't get away with anything anymore. Like, right. everybody's watching. You've got Alexa watching. Your iPhone's always listening. Like, everybody's, there's cameras everywhere. But then this guy completely gets away with murder. They don't even have a trace of where he is. It was it's like, like two weeks yeah. he was out. Yeah. Yeah, Something and he like only that. got taken out by alligators. Otherwise, he'd still be sitting pretty. Where'd they find him? What was it, Florida? Yeah, which mm -hmm. also doesn't... I don't know. I feel like... Is Florida that vast? I mean, I guess they have swamplands and stuff like yeah. that, but that's not like deep, deep forest. And I would feel like that would also be the first place that they were really searching too, because that's yeah, where he was last seen with his parents. Dude, right? If, if you're trying not to be found in a marsh or a forest or anything like that, like it's yeah. you can probably not be found. Uh, but I mean, they got dogs and everything. You'd have to at least know a little bit about what you're doing. I don't know if he does or they not. Definitely had dogs, dude. The bounty hunter. <laughs> but but then also Yo. his also <laughs> his, that's my dad, dude. Also, yeah, his family was, going into that the woods like twenty four hours before they found him there. Right, that was kind of weird. There's a lot of suspicious stuff, and the fact that his body was m horribly mutilated. Are they going to run DNA testing? Do they have anything to run DNA testing against? Yeah, dude. Did his parents just go off and kill somebody else and planted his body parts in there, dude? Is it possible Gabby Batito killed him <gasps> first? 
Damn. Wasn't it speculated that they were at like this, um, God, wherever they were traveling, but there was, they were at a party or a festival or a cult fucking place. And there was two previous murders before the Gabby Petito went missing. So I Are think we calling her the Gabby Petito, the now? Gabby Potato head. <laughs> Yeah, so like I think something happened between them two where he's like, "This bitch is gonna talk." Mm. I got to fucking, you know. Oh, maybe they were out in the forest killing people together. Oh shit! And she was like, "I can't do this anymore, Brian. We got to turn ourselves in." You're toxic, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> You're I didn't murder people before you, Brian. Brian, <laughs> listen here, Brian. <laughs> This is placating, Brian. You groomed me. <laughs> you knew what you were getting into, I bitch. was only 16, Brian. Yeah, well, you want to get touched by your dad? You want to get touched by me? Well, you got a, <laughs> you got an old soul and a tight pussy. <laughs> check, check. I'm going to take the tight pussy and give the soul back to God. What's up? <laughs> God damn. <clears throat> Oof. I was just going to go really dark saying Brian what? Laundry made a pocket pussy out of her Gabby Petito, but sweet. Ah! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I got the flies, sir. <laughs> Almost handed a joint to Sober Pedro. Uh, thanks, man. Sober Pedro, dude. Things what are we at, dude? What's That's today? 27? Yeah. 27 days sober, oh, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> for those watching the for, for those not watching the YouTube right now, we're getting crooked, baby. Our camera's just oh. going wonk on us. That's all right, man. That's kind of how it goes sometimes. But still hey, Pedro, looks dope with a fish eye, dude. Pedro, did you ever play marbles, dude? Yeah, you remember marbles? I remember marbles, doggy. Hell yeah, dude. I was thinking about that today because I saw a car that, and I shared the picture in the group chat, a car that had like a weird, it had like an oil on water looking kind of paint job on it that was dope as fuck. It's called Chameleon, bro. Chameleon. Chameleon and it looked like some job. marbles I used to have. And I was just like, damn, remember how easy it is to just like mesmerize little kids, dude? Was. That didn't look cool at all is. either, oh, dude, by true. the way. Huh? By the way, that didn't look cool at all. What? That car. Uh, <laughs> the car, no, but the paint job was dope. I disagree. Just because you make, you know, $400 million a year because you <laughs> created AIDS doesn't mean... I didn't create AIDS, dude. The, 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 the people gave AIDS it created you. The, the, people, the people gave it to themselves. <laughs> the people gave it to themselves. Yeah. All right. I mean, Something going sexual. back to experimenting on people, like, that's yeah. kind of where it was, right? With AIDS. It started with AIDS. It did start with AIDS. Very good, Pedro. Thanks, dude. You know what, dude? I want I wanted to have a happy note on there for... I feel like last year, this podcast was getting a little... I think this is when CJ started coming on. Because like we like because we started doing Halloween every week and we switched it a couple of days where it was just him and me. And this is like when you became kind of part of the, the family, dude, yeah. in a way. And I think it was cool that this whole month, even though you worked a lot, we all got to fuck around and keep it up. Dude. Oh, it yeah, fun. dude. It was fun, man. Got yeah. some content out of it, boy. I, I saw this... Uh, uh, I mean, I don't, maybe I shouldn't even do this, but dude, I saw this this Ram Dass, uh quote that I just, I just love, and it fe it felt like it was suiting to this moment. It just it was one of those ones that hits you sometimes, with, and as things that he says does, oh yeah, dude. you know, hits you like an abusive husband, dude. Most <laughs> most of us are convinced that we are our egos, which is who we think we are. The ego is part of our incarnation. It dies with the body, which is why we are so afraid of death. Death scares the hell out of who you think you are, especially if you think you are this body. The shadow, especially the shadow of death, is the greatest teacher for how to come to the light. I, I don't know. It's beautiful, man. Hell yeah. Shout out Ram Dass. <sighs> Shout out Ram Dass. I don't know. Sometimes because you get this, this fleeting feeling, man. So I guess that kind of circled around more with like the wearing masks, the costumes, and Halloween. And that's why I felt it kind of tied in with this episode. And I just kind of wanted to shout out to that kind of the masks that we always put up and we pull down every week and we kind of try to fucking make you guys laugh, make ourselves laugh, try to have a good time. But it was nice, like hanging out and doing. I love these Halloween. Like, I love Halloween. Yeah. For me, this like also like ignites something 
as like a child. Like I love that feeling that I feel like in my later twenties, it's t- kind of started escaping. You know, you probably get it again with your daughter. You like get yeah, to yeah, see yeah. through her eyes, like holidays and like remembering that special kind of feeling, like something smells different in the air and shit like that and decorations and. I don't know, even like just d- dressing like fucking Dr. Fauci and the d- dead dog. Like, you know what I mean? But like, it's cool. It's cool to fucking be able to do it, bro. So yeah. I, I appreciate you guys. And it's it's dope having like CJ part in. You've been coming like every week now since basically then, dude. It's crazy. I think is, we're on 40 something episodes together, guys. Yeah. In a row, but you were on, you're trickling on yeah, before you like that. A, you did the presidential episode, which mm-hmm. is an awesome episode. Yeah, spot here and there. Yeah. Yeah. So this, yeah. I appreciate you too, man. Yeah. It takes a lot. You know, sometimes we're fucking all caught up in our egos or in our lives and this shit. We don't take time for ourselves. Yeah. And I feel like this relieves me of a lot of fucking just pressure, dude, honestly, or like responsibility even. <laughs> like, and like, yeah. It's I have no, a wa- legit yeah yeah I have a wife at, and and daughter at home that I'm res- you know not <laughs> that responsible. I'm neglecting. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back in two hours. <laughs> yeah. Slam the door. Give me a boys and berry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta go make racist jokes with the boys. <laughs> no, but it it um yeah man this shit's always fun. I yeah. I enjoy the shit out of it. Hell yeah! And it's hard work. It's coming here every week, like keeping up with you know shit going on and trying to make it funny and trying to just. Plus the content online and everything. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Pedro for getting us so many views. Yeah, dude. All these people, all you guys seem to like Pedro's and Sexy. Pedro in the face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're yeah. pretty, dog. They like looking at you when you talk. <laughs> they dude. do, bro. I'm jealous. Pedro's getting all the views and me and Nick are trying really, really hard to, you know, get some views and they're just nothing, I, nothing we don't do. Don't tell take. me it's really hard because all of my reads are, I'm stoned <laughs> with my, in my underwear and it takes me 10 that's minutes. That's as hard as we try. Yeah, that's true. That's a white guy trying, dude. Like, <laughs> why are you getting anywhere? Why are I getting anywhere? Here's Pedro working 25 days in a row <laughs> yeah. and me and Sage are making videos in our underwear like stoned at five in the morning. <laughs> I haven't slept yet. Like, Legit. why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't anything work? I know it's because he's brown. God damn yeah. it. He's yeah. in a golf cart. He has this beautiful scenery behind us, dude. It can't just be because my eyes are half glazed and closed. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Weird. Dude, I want to shout out to one of my favorite. It's not really even a costume, but it's some. It's a teacher that shouldn't have gotten fired yesterday. And if you could cue the video for me, please, CJ. I think this is terrible. She's just trying to teach Native American culture. <laughs> And once again, Christopher Columbus gets so got to what? So got to what? So got to what? So got to what? Sokotoa is a mnemonic again, device for remembering trigonometry I functions. Ask you, please tell me the secret Indian champ. Please. And then I hear. <laughs> <laughs> because. Obviously, this is ridiculous. Help! She's running to the oh, wall. Man. I just hurt my toe. Oh, oh it's comedy, oh, she dude. Hurt her toe, uh, dude. <laughs> She's hilarious. Oh, She's got a little, like a little five, you know, one of those like turkeys yeah. that you basically cut out with your Feather, hand yeah, for feather, fake feather yeah. and construction paper. And she's teaching like yeah. a, a Native American prayer. She's bringing. And she's it got to a Native life. American covering on her face, or what is that? That's a Dr. Fauci approved thing. <laughs> oh, okay. It's okay. just a mask. Yeah, it's called a I mask approve. for everybody's safety. Oh. And everybody 5 to 11, get your kids vaccinated. If you're 5 to 11 walking around America right now and your kids aren't vaccinated. What are you doing, doggy? Trying to Go smell ahead. the bullshit, dude. Oh, I was just sniffing Pedro's balls. Oh, damn. He's horny for me. Is it because you don't feel like five to eleven year olds should be vaccinated? Oh no! I just I forgot to sh- we we didn't introduce. Great news! The FDA has now approved five to eleven year olds to get the Pfizer. <laughs> get that jab, baby! I appreciate you need it. I appreciate she stuck to the bit though, dude. Like she you did can see, stick you can to see, it. Yeah. you can see it dwindling down a little bit, but yeah. then she's like, you know what? I'm pushing through this. And she you know committed. What? And she committed. And ran herself. And into she a should fucking be wall. committed. And she also said. <laughs> <laughs> and she also even said she's like this is ridiculous so it's like she's saying her feelings of it but she, she's still teaching the kids it right so she's not taking it out of history she's no. teaching the kids she's acting out their prayers yeah. and their rain yeah, dances these guys were ridiculous and she's like so fuck i'm just... sorry like i don't i can't really get into it. this is ridiculous you know what i mean like i believe in and jesus christ and stuff like that native americans were silly yeah we killed them 
<laughs> then she ran into a wall going Super Saiyan, dude. It's awesome. She brought oh, yeah. China culture into it. Yeah. And I approve that of that message is Dr. Fauci. I bet she I'm pro China. Fucks, dude. You think so? She fucks. She's a wild animal, dude. Look at her. Yeah, but I do her with the feathers on her head. Oh, oh yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. I do it with the feathers in her butt. King Chris Kiddis. <laughs> Sorry. We gotta put this dog down, dude. <laughs> We're trying to. He's resilient to it for some reason. Four vaccines, dude. The vaccinations are only making me stronger. It's crazy. <laughs> Found you. We need the flies. <laughs> I didn't know somebody bipolar could have so many personalities. <laughs> I thought it was only two. <laughs> <laughs> Split the sequel, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Jekyll and Hyde got it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they could have milked that series, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. I wish they would have milked me, dude. Uh, and shout out Halloween, dude. Me. Keep making them, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, Carpenter, shout out. Dude, and my my dude, daughter dude, was dude, pumped dude. to be at the Halloween store. Like, she that was, was a good time, she dude. She was enjoying it. Yeah. Because yeah. we went to pick out these amazing outfits, costumes. Shout out our, the local spirits, right? The local spirits, dude. <laughs> 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 Locally owned, dude. Pops up in that shopping mall. It's awesome. Good for them. <laughs> what, what is the what is the secret behind those places? Is it like it's literally, cheap, dude? Dude, the so is they, it a, the markup must be huge on so costumes. Is it China, a dude. super rich for sure? But is it a super rich company or is it like do you, can people like franchise it out or like buy stores for it or do they just like have this super company they just implode uh, on every I year? I almost guarantee it's like somebody like like it's a uh, it's probably a franchise. You know what I mean? And you so, buy out the rights to be able to sell their whole package, and then you just buy you rent out a building. Well, yeah, right? like any other franchise, but it, but it's basically like. Um, seasonal so mm. you know it's works off of um, temporary residents instead of instead of like buying a building and this is our spot now it's yeah we just, need this for a couple months yeah, exactly yeah. it's like a rent I don't know that's yeah. weird it's like a pop-up shop you know what my favorite part about that trip was mm. was when and we're talking about our trip to get our Halloween costumes that's spirit you had to wait in that's line cool. outside dude that was pretty, that was pretty dope <laughs> yeah dude it I felt lit. exclusive it dude. did COVID makes us all exclusive <laughs> that's so true <laughs> that's cool fancy Bro, is your name on the but list but what's crazy is like it's racist too because it was only white people they make wait in line people like Pedro and shit like going right in <laughs> yeah, yeah it was kind of interesting all. Yeah, like yeah, they were just, the line was strictly white yeah. and then, oh you're married in go ahead man yeah. and as soon as they found out I was a homosexual they let me in too oh they let you right in you're like oh yeah. shit he has a blog <laughs> yeah he must be gay dude talks funny go ahead he has a blog. He's gonna roast. <laughs> he's gonna roast us, dude. Careful. Damn, no, my dude. favorite oh, yeah. movie, my favorite moment of that was when, uh, like, we're like in line checking out, and she just goes, <sighs> and I look at him I'm like I know, and you're like, I didn't even have to say it. Just sexual frustration. Yeah. But just because those places are scr scrummaged with thoughts, yeah. dude. Yeah. Did, and did there were guys, two of them in line in front of us. Yeah. Did you see those two mm. girls? Yeah, they were. I think they were. I, th I may have overheard slash eavesdropped. Yeah. That they're like, we're dressing up. As, I heard him say, like, we're dressing up as witches, which is ironic because we really are witches. Mm. I was like, oh, shit, don't fucking don't mess with that. Don't mess with these bitches, dude. So I think they were. My boy CJ sniffed their period out. <laughs> yeah, dude. He was just falling around the store the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. I was like a dog with a boner. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's good. And Stevie Nick comes on and they're just all singing. Oh, and I'm just dude, like, Stevie Nick turns me on. Dude. Just the music and the oh, girls yeah. that are really into Stevie Nick's. It's, it, they're toxic people. Yeah, and I sang, for sure toxic. Terrible. I sang the high note real loud uh, in the middle of the store. And then for the rest of the night, that whole Stevie Nick song was stuck in my head. And I can I, I like annoyed myself. Can you sing it again, uh, dude? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't oh, actually know why'd you ask him to do that, Pedro? Yeah, know, Bad dude. surgeon. That sounded like Stevie Dicks, though, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude. <laughs> Kinks. Kinkies. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of thoughts walking funny. around those uh, stores. And that was a good moment you gotta of be careful, shared Fauci, sexual dude. frustration. Why is that? You gotta be careful, Fauci. I got my mask on. They don't know who I am. There's a lot of I'm underage five, thoughts in there, okay, dude? <laughs> Take your chances, dude. You have your, life's a gamble. Life's a risk, bro. Okay? You know what I mean? That's what you said with COVID? If, okay. Life's, I'm yeah. just going to say this. If you're going home with her and you're in the back of a mini, minivan and her parents are driving, probably get out. Yeah. That's a good plan. Huh. That's what I'm saying as Dr. Fauci. That's <laughs> how unless, you're in, Wuhan, Fauci. unless you're in Wuhan. Oh, it's all shit. good in Wuhan, dude. Every, yeah, anything dude. flies, even the bats. If they, yeah. <laughs> if they can work, they can fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 you gotta hit that again, dude. <laughs> oh man, that's terrible, y'all. So y'all shared the sexual dude. frustration up in spirits, dude. Yeah, it's hot, yeah. dude. In her local spirits, yeah, it's hot. There's always hot girls in those places. I, I like I think the hottest I girl in there get... was my wife, dude. I love you, babe. 
forever and ever. Gay as fuck. <laughs> I have to legally say that. Why? Because you just made a pedophile a joke two minutes <laughs> yeah. ago. Yes. Was exactly. it two minutes ago. I'm high, dude. This is good weed, man. Hell yeah. It's nice to be smoking weed again. I'm telling you. Smoking weed and drinking <laughs> beer. Straight up. Yeah. It's such a good uh, beer. That's yeah. the secret. Dude, I, think I have sometimes. such a good beer. I have man. a scary story from this week, especially Ooh. after we just uh, shared that joint. Yeah. I made a fucking full cut. So um, I deliver Uber Eats for money and uh, um, and for, for as a passion. Don't it's click a passion that. Of he mine. gets really mad. Yeah, when you do it for an hour straight in an episode. <laughs> uh, Which is what he's been doing, dude. Has he? Yeah. Oh, You're just drunk it. and high right now. Damn. Because so, I can tolerate more. <laughs> more peaceful. So Rum I deliver <laughs> Uber Eats for a living. That's pretty scary to be pov- to be completely poor. Only and when you look like that. <laughs> <laughs> and they do... Uh, he's begging to be put down, dude. <laughs> they do contactless delivery. So you just leave it at the door. You know what I'm saying? Like you just, they, yeah. everybody yeah, knows yeah. because everybody best. does Uber Eats. Before the pandemic, I used to judge those people so hard. Yeah. Like I would, I would leave it at the door and I'd be like, what happened to you? Okay. Like that you weren't able to open your door and take uh, something from somebody. Yeah. Like, are you okay? And now it's just like totally normal and you don't think, to, and I actually get weird when people do want to take, when, when it says meet at the door, there's a little bit of like a, ugh. Is that the scary part in the story? Yeah. So I delivered uh, food to this, to this house. And as Native I'm coming American up, or <laughs> we're not playing guess the race. We're not playing guess the race today. <laughs> okay. They were all, they were all whites. It was a rich uh, neighborhood. Uh, it's a rich neighborhood <laughs> full of wealthy elites. Ooh, Ooh. this is a new Jordan Peele movie. <laughs> <laughs> Black family yeah. moves in and all the white people <laughs> kill da, each da, other. Da, da, da. <laughs> And the lights are off on the porch, so there's no light. And I'm walking up. I can't tell if this is the right house, but Uber says it is. So I knock on the door. And a drunk man opens the door. (gasps) And uh, he makes a full contact delivery. He comes out and he like shows me his phone and he's asking me, how do I, how do I do? What do I need to do? Did I tip you and stuff? And I'm just like, it's all right, guy, just take the food. And then he shakes my hand. Hell yeah. And as he's shaking my hand, I can smell the beer on his breath, which means I have COVID. Uh Uh-oh. (laughs) Get me too, doc. (laughs) That's the button I meant to hit. I just got the booster, but I love medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy or not, full contact delivery, dude. Let's go. That's a lot, but he was drunk, dude. I mean, just, what kind of food was it? That's all I want to hear. Pizza. What kind of pizza? Pizza. From where? From Comet Ping Pong. Comet Ping Pong. <gasps> never, heard, never heard of That's it. That's creepy, dude. Yeah. It was a wealthy elite neighborhood, mm-hmm. and I delivered cheese pizza. From Comet Ping Pong. You've heard of him. You treat everybody who goes there. You know that. Yo, one time I did, I told, I I hit the, it was before COVID and I hit the, um, just leave at the door selection. This motherfucker dude puts it on the door and then peeks into my window. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Like, Uh, that's fucking creepy. I was like, dude, what if I was just, you know, chilling on the couch naked or something? Like, that's why I said, put it on the door. Did you confront him? No, I didn't. Oh, I would have popped out and been like, hey, hey what the fuck? Dude? I'm naked. Yeah. I think personally, I didn't confront him because he's a six, four tall black guy with dreads. So mm, get a gun. My dreams. <laughs> That's what guns are for, son. <laughs> crees que eres? I had a gun, Just but I'm not going to shoot a black guy, man. <laughs> That's how you end up on the news, dog. This is a Jordan Peele movie. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, uh, I get why you I, I always thought it was weird too the whole leave it at the door thing but i don't know some days it, it is kind of nice you don't want inter- to yeah. the- interact with anybody sometimes i think the worst the thing i always judge people that use that app and like through the restaurant that i work at when people use that app and i'm like i know how much money this because it's such a fucking rip off i mean oh, they yeah. take oh, yeah. you to the cleaners baby <laughs> <laughs> This is Dr. Fauci speaking on uber eats and postmates and doordash take them to the lab doc they take yeah, they suck their, I mean, yeah, it's just like, dude, why are you spending $40 for what's $20 somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. Like, it's great. Like, not, but. Convenience Some dog? people, yeah, they'll. Exactly. Like, if you can afford that, and like, when you, like, 
there's been a couple moments where I'm like, I can kind of like, yeah. dude, Splurge. I'm so stoned right now. Like, I don't feel like dealing with somebody. Like, and it feels nice to be able to get this kind of treat. Or if you're drunk, deal with people. a lot of times for me, I'll order Uber Eats when I'm like, when I've packed my schedule too much and I don't have time to. Cook or that, or and it's like, and you can cut out that like I can like like chill for like 45 more yeah. minutes, and like you start valuing your time, I guess, in, in a way. Here's too. a question, dude: When you order Uber Eats as an Uber Eats driver, does your phone ping? Uh, no, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fuck you, Fauci. <laughs> Debark, Fauci. Debark, Fauci. <laughs> I'm gonna get away with it. I'm gonna get Fauci. away with it. Yeah, we what? are lesbians Wait. and we are dogs and we are hot bitches. You hear the pulse of them? I already convinced them that they love Fauci. Do you hear that? <laughs> See how quick he turned? <laughs> she turned. It turned. You know what I'm talking about, people? No more gender. <laughs> I was giving you my belly, dude. We live in a genderless uh, world. Who's that? I don't know. It's oh, just, it's is that spontaneous? Uh, Nelson Mandela, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Free Nelson, dude. Oh, yeah. Maybe I will later. Oh, fool Nelson is what I meant. Free oh. Willie Nelson, dude. Free Nelson's Willie. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel so that. good, does it, dude? No, it doesn't feel good to be scraping the bottom. <laughs> so this bitch got let go for that, dude. Yeah, Which bitch? teaching history, that bitch. <laughs> oh, we're for back teaching, on that now. Teaching history is what I'm saying. God, unbelievable. Since what we're now? just going back to points we made 45 <laughs> minutes ago, let's go back to the point Pedro made about about this guy over here, what Mr. Up? Fauci. I'm Dr. Fauci, and I think you should pay attention to me. <laughs> um, Cue attention, horror. <laughs> the, is that uh, and Disney Plus? My new documentary. <laughs> check it out. I'm a great parent. I'm a great parent too. Yeah, people I only don't hit realize. My son, I only hit my son once. Did you see that in the first hour? He punches his son. Literally, and he goes to the <laughs> fucking hospital. People don't realize how playful and funny he actually is. I know, dude. but he broke his kid's arm. <laughs> he fractured his shoulder by punching him. That's a good dad. That's cr- I guess so. <laughs> I guess they roughed they like roughed housed around more back in those days, right? I'm sure. And did. the kid wasn't gay, so he could take a shoulder a shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> dude, yeah. Fauci put Bolt down. I heard. Really? Yep. Aww. You remember Bolt from 2008 Disney movie? You thought he put him down, but he actually did a pretty cruel experiment on it. Oh, what did he do? Well, this what, I'm what speaking did you do, not sir? through me, but as allegedly. just the con- Yeah, allegedly of what yeah. we would do with Bolt is we put it in a room and we'd shock it and just see <laughs> how many heartbeats per minute we can get it to. Actually, he'd Bolt you, dude, because... Bolt was a... Was, was a gender and he went by he him and i don't appreciate your sociopathic misgendering misgendering is something that happens with science because diseases change names there's mutations there's different different arrays of elements that you wouldn't understand as a liberal or somebody that wouldn't or actually a republican I mean, I, are you folks, you're wearing dog ears <laughs> and blue hair i'm very these confused. are my actual ears sir i'm a dog oh. and i'm a lesbian and I would appreciate Surgeon. if you, uh, uh, you know, acknowledge that. Take okay. him to room four, please. <laughs> <laughs> room four for Bolt's dad. <laughs> uh, Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. What about the point that you were getting at, dude? He's putting you down, dude. You should be putting him down. Yeah. He's putting you down instead. <laughs> That's fucked up. What kind of medicine are we giving this thing? I don't know, dude. Yeah. I didn't have a point. I just I just heard Dr. Fauci, you know, he got that Disney Plus deal, but he had to make a sacrifice. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And the lady and the mm. tramp dogs, they were getting old. Um, you know, both the female and the male one. Mm. Lady and the tramp. Tramp. And uh, and what did you do to those? How did you? Lady heard, and the tramp? Yeah, well, I heard you reversed. Have you ever heard of Hillary Clinton and AOC? Whoa. Lady and the tramp, dude. Is this all me- a metaphor for actual, like, life? Dr. Fauci? Life is but a game, and the dice is but the way the wind rolls in God's name. Amen. Hell yeah, dude. Life is just a game of grab ass. <laughs> Dr. Fauci. If you're at spirits, <laughs> if you're at spirits and spirits right, the right song's on, grab some ass. Yeah. And you got spirit. a little bit of spirit yeah. in you? Say, can you try the song, Little Miss? Because I, I'm, I, have a, I have a teenage daughter, and this is a this is what she wants to be, and she's so busy, I never see her, so I'm gonna give it to her because I haven't seen her for a you while. You about the right size? You can about, you try this on for me? 
The oh, doctor. Oh, you, you can't zip up the back. The doctor <laughs> outfit with the uh, southern accent. So scary right now, dude. Yeah. Legit scary. <laughs> I'm fucking freaked out. We ha- I think we, this we guy's about to cheer- sedate me and rape me. We have the cheerleading outfit. I was gonna sedate you for sure, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's I think, terrible, I, I think I'm man. into pup play now, dude. Oh yeah, yeah all yeah, the things, all the sounds. I've ever seen that one? It's like, the weirdest role play you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's not weird, dude. You're just kink shaming because you're in a basic. Nick's a veterinarian like, called Doctor Shots, dude. What's weird about that? <laughs> and shout out veterinarians out there, dude. They He's gonna sedate me and too. put my head in a net and put his dick in my mouth, dude. <laughs> You won't feel Keep a thing. This, <laughs> one, this one had snake lead you. It's for, <laughs> it's for the good of science. Oh, yeah. He's going to eat me alive. Check out my parasite. <laughs> that thing does look Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Doggone it. Yeah. Just messing around, everybody. I spent time behind bars, man. You don't want to just be putting stuff in, in me without wrapping something around it. Yeah. Science can cure it. Latex gloves or something. <laughs> we can get a vaccine oh. for that. We'll get a vaccine for that. Yeah, roll it out next year. We get a vaccine. Did you know for that? I did that? I spent six months behind. Six months in the pound. What? What did you do? What did you do? I joined the Latin Kings. Oh yeah. Yeah, we used to write like, like these little books and stuff like that. I don't want to know you got initiated in you <laughs> fucking six six. Well, you bad. either have to bad fight. Bad dog. Bad bad dog. <laughs> you either have to fight or fuck. So, which one do you think I did? Fuck in, fuck out, dude. I don't know. You're dressed like somebody <laughs> that got a little bit of both. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, stop. All I know is your sister's not going to like this. Yeah. <laughs> your sister stopped listening 45 minutes ago. <laughs> I, I called myself a homosexual with like almost no obvious innuendo. So she probably, if she watched it, she's tuned out by now. Mm. And she's praying. Yeah. Well, at least somebody's doing it. <laughs> we got three heathens here on Halloween. Heathen? Yeah, hardly know you. <laughs> so stupid. Thank you. King It's a Dr. Fauci joke. You can get more of those <laughs> in my Disney Plus documentary on how I'm, how I'm such a great dad, except for the one time I smacked my sh- son in the shoulder and I broke his arm, and the one time I didn't talk to my daughter for four years, and when she was nine. When she was nine, he yeah. stopped talking to her? Yeah. That's fucking... Yeah, because he had to sell her to the people he's working for. That's not true. King she had to go away to camp and with some people that he kind of knew and didn't really know. <laughs> but they were professionals and experts, right? But they were professionals and experts. So this camp on an island, dude. She came back with a little bit of a twitch, but it was <laughs> here on Epstein's Isle. I thought you guys were going to join in with no. me, and so um, just I guess. Why I, would you offend Doctor Fauci? Yeah, like why would that, you talk dude? about my daughter like that? that? She got tossed around like some kind of bong at a fucking hippie. I movement. thought that's what hippie you guys fest. liked. Yeah, some hippie fest. Some I thought that was a point that of pride like for you. Skunks. Some Isn't gross that- display of humanity that we need to put down like a sick pack of wolves. Vaccinate that. Are you we talking to- about Food City, dude? King <sighs> what's Food City? City? You don't know what Food City is? No, what's Food City? That's C- how you know Nick is uh, pretty well Dr. off. Dr. Fauci? Here, boys. Oh, I'm sorry. Dr. Fauci. What's a Food City? Um, it's where you get your experiments from. You know the little brown oh, ones. Oh, the place that we put you know when you have the, like rats? You know the vans that come in and they have all the little brown ones that you test on? Oh, they test come Project Brown. <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> that they're one. the they're the lost ones from Food City. When you hear over okay. the Can you give me a, a you know, the you know a, a call for a lost child that you would hear over Food City? <laughs> Tenemos a Juanito, Juanito, Juanito en el número 15. Tenemos a Juanito. <laughs> there's like six of them lined up in the front. Yeah, <laughs> six Juanito. Give us a last name. <laughs> we need a last name. We're gonna need something. We're else. all lost. Now get. Now give us a characteristic. Characteristic. I don't know. Give us something else. I don't know. Put them on. Hola, mom. I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Uh, it's mio. It's mio. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I can't believe you don't even know where you get your experiments from, man. That's crazy. Where You just find the dog. You just think that the dogs wander in wanting to be experimented no. on. You think the kids knock on the door and say, experiment on me. Fuck you never you. go <laughs> in District 9. That's sick. Rule. That's saddening. Why would I expose myself to a poor 
income place that the whole <laughs> system it's marked off with a toxic skeleton <laughs> there's a gas mask in per, certain parts of arizona why would i go there and get gro- that's ins- that's right that's even insane. when you're doing the experiments you're in like a full-on bio suit i yeah. forgot and i they have to make it through the third to fourth to fifth cleansing before i even see them can you tell us a little bit more about the steps of cleansing preposterous well, they're left in cages for months, years. We, Sometimes without we, food or water. We run on a different kind of schedule. It's not a 365 days a year kind of schedule. We run off something lunar. It's through the moon and through Satan and through child <laughs> So it's it's confusing. It's, it's trust the science. Just trust the science, <laughs> folks. Okay. Like movie old, dude. Yeah. What well, exactly? I mean, when did we stop trusting science all of a sudden? Three know. things I have learned never to discuss with people. Religion, politics, and the great pumpkin. Yeah. Shout out Charlie Brown. Man. Oh, yeah. That was my idol, dude. I'm like, I'm going to be bald and have only a dog when I grow up and die. <laughs> 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 it's going to be all and I'm going to have one day. I can't wait. Science is the great pumpkin. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's this elusive thing that may or may not bring you what it says it's going to bring you. Um, but you just have to trust that it's real. Yeah. Or get ridiculed. Speaking and speaking of pumpkins, dude, Science can, is God, this is getting dude. and can we just like bring up some women or like look at like naked girls and stuff and like that on this show at some point, dude? I'm tired of getting, getting all bummery. Why don't you bring up that rape yeah, victim that, about, you, <laughs> that you were talking about, dude? Yeah, you didn't hear about that on the train? No, what happened? Well, basically, it's just Black Mirror once again happening. Where I think it was like a 35 minutes, this dude was like kind of assaulting. It's a long woman. rape. Not that's not when the rape. It, it wasn't an instant rape. He didn't uh, get on there and say, hey, the bitch, court. I'm going to rape you. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm <laughs> raping you. Hey, the doors are 35 closed. 35 minutes <laughs> later. Still so, raping you. So sorry about that rape. I was just sitting on there exhausted <laughs> after it. She's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> like, I guess it wasn't the worst thing. Meh. <laughs> Not the worst I've ever been raped on this subway. <laughs> For Philadelphia. <laughs> you're a Philadelphia four. <laughs> And it only goes up to four in Philadelphia. <laughs> Should have been here last week. Yeah. That's, why there was, that's why there's 10 people recording it on their phones because she is hot. Yeah. Like, this is a Philadelphia four. She's getting fucked. Drilled. Dude, there's a bunch of tracks. World Let's go, go Brandon that are like tra- topping the iTunes charts. We should make Rape Train. See if we can get the iTunes charts with that. That might be a solo project for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep my... Keep yeah, dude, I have a daughter, one. you fucking degenerate. Yeah. Rape train. Bano, bano, no, bano. I said now, rape train. Don't nod your head, Fauci. Rape train. I just want to see if I'm going to like it or not. Because <laughs> I could see killing some test project X's to that song. <laughs> yeah, and it, you can be... You can guess what you think X is. That's up to you. Oh, yeah. Fully up to you. It's me. And kill myself. <laughs> Maybe. Or maybe you'll just end up waking up in a lab one day. What's worse? You suicidal people out there. All those people going to mental hospitals. We're doing the test, man. We're right, doing, Pedro? Yeah. Hitting them tests, boy. Hell yeah. <laughs> what uh, What happened on this train, though? Dude? Oh, yeah. Rape train. <laughs> in the USA. In a rape train. <laughs> rape train. Everybody's working for the <laughs> rape train. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, you guys are way too excited. What about happened rape. on the train? Okay, <laughs> first that's disgusting, and I shut up, Fauci. Keep talking about the train, dude. These people are gross. Why don't you go rape a dog like you always do for experiments? Yeah, at least we rape people, not dogs. Well, yeah, I'm trying to, and solve, we do it for pleasure, not science. I'm trying to solve your AIDS, so I don't know why you're. <laughs> why do you think the LGBTQT community loves Fauci so much? Like, I know everything he's saying is bullshit, <laughs> but now I can take a pill every month and it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> rape train. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the rape train in Philadelphia. Yeah, it was like this. Yeah, I think it was like, <laughs> <laughs> Tom Hanks. There's just a lonely glove here. I don't know. I'm going to take a picture and post it on the internet. Another missing glove in the middle of the world. Strange, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's trending on Yandex. <laughs> I wonder where the other glove is. It was so weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What a weird thing to start always posting, Tom Hanks. So in this train on Philadelphia. On this train, on this train that Tom Hanks was on that he found a missing glove. <laughs> yeah. He pulled up his camera. The movie he pulled, Philadelphia yeah. starring Tom Hanks. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It's all coming together. Oh, and there's one glove down there and he's filming it for his Instagram, he brings the camera up and there's this girl getting raped and he's like, what in the world? I'm going to keep filming. Yeah, I'm going to keep on filming. <laughs> oh, I'm going to pull my dick out. <laughs> he's got his dick out. Might as well put my dick out too. <laughs> you think he asked for consent, dude? Who? Tom Hanks. No, he doesn't Tom Hanks have to. Doesn't, he he yeah. doesn't have to ask he, for he consent. He has consent. 
yeah. a priori. Mm. Once you stop shopping at Food City, you don't have to ask for consent. <laughs> You got money, baby. I'm still in the consent aisle. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Uh, What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, that built up your room. (laughs) Road train! (laughs) Damn it. Fucking disgusting pervert. It's growing on me. (laughs) (laughs) You go home. (laughs) Road (laughs) train. It's been sucking you out all week, (laughs) folks. Hope I don't accidentally play it to my band tomorrow. <laughs> like, Guys, I, I have knew. this new idea. <laughs> like, I thought you shaved your head because you were balding, but I guess it was actually a turn for the worse. Somebody from the record company is going to be walking past like, damn, that's a catchy that's jingle. Catchy, yeah. And you're going to get fit discovered. <laughs> so counterculture. Yeah. <laughs> um, so on the rape train in Philadelphia, so yeah, this dude was basically like har- harassing her. She was obviously not into it, whatever, then eventually it leads to rape and there's t- i think i believe there's 10 bystanders and a lot of them start filming them and like without that's getting involved. so crazy yeah why like but the the idea of it so like they're ca- they feel like if they're capturing it in a way that they can use it as like some kind of evidence or something to give to somebody to get this guy in trouble or whatever for but, 10 minutes but that's like, the thing it's like you're using this like as it's like a weapon like you're like i'm gonna get you like i'm gonna get you on the internet yeah but it's like what's happening in person you should be getting involved You're with. completely disconnected from the reality of the situation. Yeah. And then they wanted to press charges on the bystanders and stuff like that. But they're like, no, we can't press charges. But it's also like you are you are observant in a rape. Yes. Um, somebody I'm making a compliment. In, in, a in a way. In a way, yeah. Or, yeah, I mean, you didn't. But it's not, just also like yeah, for 10 people not to be like, we should probably stop this. Yeah. It's also a little, cr- it's that's crazy. That's the crazy thing. It's the bystander that's, effect or whatever. It's like, deaf black I just had a thing, cheese, a uh, Philly cheese steak, bro. <laughs> and, she's oh. a, and she's having a Philly cheese steak, dude. That's <laughs> a, he can rape me after this, dude. I ain't moving. He's good. This is my favorite chair. Dude, Philly cheese steak. That was a good one. Um, it's yeah, dude. That's it's that whole thing, that old story. Kitty Genovese getting chased down the street in New York uh, by like a maniac with a knife, and all the people are watching out the window, thinking right. somebody else is going to call the cops, mm. and so nobody, nobody called does. the cops, yeah. and she dies. Um, there's other that jogger too that happened with, right? Yeah, I mean, there's all kinds yeah. of examples. That's kind of just like the classic. Um, but it's weird. It's like happening. It's like it's what's yeah, weird. Like it's how, like, dude, it's how fucking happening. It's disassociated, like you said, from reality. Yeah. Are you that you're not going to step in? I mean, even if the guy's bigger, there's ten of you guys. Like yeah, you can right. easily pull him. Take off. your turn, or just are you? Is, <laughs> <laughs> get in there. Get in line. <laughs> Next, <laughs> on the <board. laughs> You think I'm fucking with you? Uh, oh, we're definitely shit, fucking dude. with you, people. All right. Yeah. This is not a joke. Rape's not funny. It's not I mean, funny it, at all. but it is. It's a product of like that the bystander culture. We're yeah. literally all on our phones watching life as if it's a movie. Right, and then that also that also retraining to that is reality. This is life because I'm get you, I'm getting you. I'm catching like on this camera. This place that like my whole world exists. This is so real. The fact that I'm getting you here means it's like oh I got I got you. Yeah, but yeah. it's like. You're missing <laughs> where reality takes place and how reality takes place. You're taking place of it like from this weird outside. Yeah, you're spectrum. putting a fl- yeah. you're putting a filter on. So it, strange, man. But it's strange to see that happening. And then I, the other thing I saw was what those uh, crazy dog robots, you know, that can like jump and they've yeah, seen yeah. doing those flips and stuff it's like that. Wild. So I saw them just like walking around New York City, like three cops and I think three of those. And just the oh, dude, you're like holy shit, shit dude. Futuristic. It's as fuck, so huh? creepy. Yeah. Just because the way they move and the way that like. Well, it's not like, human. It's not human. Yeah. And it's just like what every ho- single we're horror so, movie you've we're so read. And every, to see a dog walking and yeah. when it's not and when it's like a dog or, shaking his yeah, ass. Yeah. 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 A robot dog can't do that. So please don't replace me. Crazy, man. It's, that was a weird thing to Dude, see. Dude, pretty it's soon they're going to replace all the dogs with robot dogs. And then all the truckers are going to be placed, replaced with automatic trucks. Well, that's and then it. Cr- they're it's, gonna kill us. It's crazy how Black Mirror was so fucking on the dot with this shit. Dude. Well, it's, that's like there's so much literature and, and movies yeah, 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 and yeah, stuff that have, have just because it shows you how attention. good of a writer they are. Yeah, it's but it's also I mean, like that they are like looking at history and how it repeats itself in the way they can look at the tactile signs that the government and the people in power are trying are going to start trying to take control or manipulate you. Right, that's also the thing. So you could say like all these writers and stuff are very 
in like, oh, I can't believe they predicted this, but like the writing's kind of on the walls and it probably has been for 40 or 50 years because all these processes are like such a slow, like progression. It's exactly. why people like Tim Dillon are so popular and so uh, relieving to listen to because yeah. and, and redeeming of everything because you're like, oh, somebody's not crazy. Or even, even though it's a crazy guy. For somebody like that yeah. on that huge old platform, be like, thank God, like somebody's still like talking about COVID or pandemic, like certain these kind of yeah. topics on that huge of a stage. Like, yeah, the things I'm you, concerned dude. about, somebody else is actually concerned and about like, and making sense of it, you know? Yeah, and, and it's like, well, it sucks. They're like, oh, why is it like... Because if you just watched CNN and thought yeah. and NBC and shit and thought that was the way people are, like you would have a completely different view yeah. of what reality but is. But I, I was in those pockets and I didn't know the outlet to find the other answers. So I think that's what happened with me a lot of my like adolescence is I was like, I watched those CNNs or Fox or whatever, whatever it was, but I was still dipping in the mainstream narrative and it was hard to find what the outside voice was. But I was like, I know there's something wrong with this. I know there's something wrong with Catholicism, but like, I don't really feel like it's atheism. I don't feel like it's like just bleak darkness. Like, I feel like there's something there, but nobody else is saying that it's either like you're Jewish, Catholic, Christian, Muslim, these certain yeah. things. And the same thing with politics is like, that's why when I hear, yeah, the Tim Dillon, Joe Rogan talking about the pandemic the way that he has it's like thank god like it's it's so fucking nice to hear that like you're not uh, I'm not fucking crazy right exactly it's like, like what's like it's this validating yeah, you're like, like oh like, shit I thought I was insane especially after like 20 years of believing like conspiracies and stuff like that I'm like what no, this isn't a conspiracy <laughs> yeah. anymore stop saying <laughs> like and now it's like and what's so funny it's like it's funny now to ha be living this long with this many years of experience in that way because now when you're not like on the liberal side of certain things like oh you're a republican I'm like no I'm still that same thing but like your spectrum switch around I'm it's just a lesbian yeah <laughs> you just keep yeah. moving the goalposts <laughs> I'm just trying to be a goddamn lesbian exactly thank you CJ you're welcome <laughs> 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 there's literally no more lesbians left dude katie herzog is all about that's her whole thing she's the very last lesbian oh yeah yeah that's kind of that sucks for her yeah good get rid of them i see <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's working <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're all turning into trans or yeah yeah that's might it. as well might as well turn be a be a lesbian and start fucking guys <laughs> <laughs> I'm lesbian. I try just like out, a dick on Try out guy. God's natural path. <laughs> L literally, <laughs> more than half of the women I've slept with are were lesbians. Were like self avowed lesbians. Oh yeah, dude. prior. Me too. It's not crazy. half, but quite a few. That it means that I probably have problems as well. <laughs> Maybe I should try something. And else. that's why you don't have sex with white folks. Okay, <laughs> you'll turn lesbian afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> that's racist. <laughs> I am racist. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, that's, we why we're that's why we're yeah, friends. Haven't we discussed that? Yeah, exactly. Isn't that why all people of like all different races are friends? Because they make racist jokes of d together about each other. Yeah. That's like, oh, you're a good guy. You're not just saying this behind my back. It's right. like, no, I'm going to talk shit to you the way <laughs> I talk shit to anybody, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah, man. So take your mask off and have shove it fun. up your ass. <laughs> all right, Limp Biscuit, dude. Yeah, dude, come on. I'll eat a limp biscuit if you make one, but uh, dude, uh, dogs will eat anything, bro. That's true. That's a good point. My dog ate a condom once. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh. yeah, it was terrifying. Noki? Yeah. No Why key. did you feed your dog a condom, dude? Used? We, you said you like. Well, he's practicing like the way, safe like, sex with him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you like the way I taste? <laughs> no. Yeah. Got like, you a strawberry one this time, Noki. Yeah, funny, dude. Damn. <laughs> That's when you're experimenting with dogs started, dude. Yeah. Dr. Fauci. <laughs> it was pre and and what is it called? And Enema. MRNA. Oh. No, the MDMA. foundation. PETA? I don't know. The Fauci Foundation, dude. Never the mind. NIH. Fuck this, the dude. National Institute of Health. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I work at the National Institute of Health. The National really Rifle Association. Happening there. Okay. Yeah. Hell so yeah. He, he ate a condom one time. It was terrifying because, and it's funny because this girl, it's a girl story. Used? <clears throat> Yeah, he lo he loved the way that sh the you know, something was going on down there. Every time she came over, he was like, he d he was just attacking her crotch, dude. Damn, he wanted it so bad. Either that, she, or she also, didn't shower, dude. No, she had, had a lot of moisture, at least. Or I got I got her excited. About <laughs> no, that's called yeah, the, dude. So once, yeah, we th I did you sedate her and put her head in a cage? <laughs> that, well, how else do you have sex with a woman? Dude, you were the <laughs> you were the second stop. That's what that means. If she came in already wet, you were the second stop. Yeah. That's not maybe she was all, on dude. her moon. Sometimes women get wet for you, believe it or not, <laughs> <laughs> because they just fuck somebody. Okay, 
Yeah, and then, yeah, the condom flew off, and then I couldn't find it, dude. And I was like, fuck. How and did- I had to draw the conclusion. I was like, Noki had to have eaten it, because I, I have no idea what else he would I mean, have done. Did you and s- sorry for saying your name, Noki. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> the condom, you creep, dude. But Vanessa, I but- mean. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, fire. Did you uh, find the condom Herpes. in his poop later? Yeah, so what okay. ha- but, but it took a day and a half, and I was terrified, because like you think about the intestines, it's like it could it could stretch out into like a balloon, mm. and so like they can die that way. But there's so, no air in it. Well, I guess there's. I know it can, or just it if can it still just got goes stuck down somehow gets or something. Stuck some yeah weird way. I mean, it's a huge condom and it's a small. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like a fucking balloon animal, dude. It's crazy. God, what is this New Mexican fucking balloon God, festival? Like, Damn. With you. <laughs> Yeah, and then so two and a half days later, it just he starts pooping. Oh, <laughs> it's like shit. filling up a little bit, and I Snapchat it and I showed my friend. I was like, I found uh, it. <laughs> hell yeah, yeah. Oh, that's wild, dude. Yeah, good times. It's that's a story. <laughs> <laughs> that's a spooky story, dude. Your your dog's swallowing condom because going back to dog torture, you know, I'm full circle. Nick um, is that saying? You're like. Dogs, fill you worry circle. about you worry about your dog's health and safety because yeah, you don't know what if something happened to him or if something's gonna happen. So you're like, all right, now I got to go to work for eight hours. Hope that condom doesn't burst inside <laughs> of your esophagus or something. You know what I mean? Come back yeah. to him, just fucking aliened out, dude. <laughs> Flying like the <laughs> like the little <laughs> thing enough. He's just, just got floating. a full balloon <laughs> condom like, that, hanging out of his Noki? butt. <laughs> yeah, and he's just floating around in it, <laughs> circling the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had fans that like to do art for us and did a. Picture of my dog blowing up <laughs> yeah, with a condom floating above a food city. That would be awesome. That dude. would be awesome. Uh, and uh, I would like to take that chance to segue really quick. Uh, I had a dream last night that I died, and uh, it it got into you know like thinking about my dog because basically uh, in the dream I was in traffic and then all of a sudden there was a big bright flash. And I just came to the conclusion there's probably a you know nuclear bomb or something. I jump out of the car, I run and hide on the other side of it. That'll work. And yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> you're it's safe, just you're safe there. instinct. And then uh, my next instinct, I jumped in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm dressed like that, you would. Dude. In the in the dream, when I got out, the the vehicle was tilted, and I was hiding on the underside of the vehicle, so it was like fully sheltered. Mm. But I but there was no reason for the vehicle to have been knocked over. Maybe maybe I got hit with it. And then climbed out, but I, but in the dream, I just got out and was behind a totally knocked over vehicle, and I'm hiding behind, you know. And then so I'm si- I like I ran back there. I sit behind this thing, and then I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm about to die. So I just closed my eyes, sat like cross legged, and just started meditating and trying to think about the name of God, which in the this instance it just was a meditation, like Om. And I tried to go there, and I sat in that for a second, and then right as the as the blast like incinerated me, my thought went to bonkers, my dog. And I was like, where, you know, I thought about where's bonkers. I wanted to grab him really quick and have him with me, you know, or whatever. And then I, I got afraid that that was going to spiral me into reincarnation. Um, instead of, you know, whatever. It's a gay dream, dude. It's so boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so I nice to know you only pray in your dreams. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Dude, I started meditating <laughs> in my dream because I don't have any other thoughts. <laughs> So that's you know so my um, that was I'm <laughs> that gonna was, die <laughs> I'm gonna die So I mean do you guys ever think about that like are you prepared for the moment of death I think about it constantly yeah. are you prepared what are Nick's you going to do when you it, when dude. you die I just accept that it's going to happen so whatever happens in those last moments is just one of those things You have I mean, no plan Not really I, I mean I feel like your adrenaline is going to take over anyways in some way that all whatever you've been training or working in some way is going to boil up and finish that way, right? It's like how much control do you really have of that whole moment? It's how you live and spend every moment because you're teaching yourself those reactions. Like, I guess it depends on how you die, right? Yeah, even and that's true too. So it's like, I don't know. I've, yeah, I've, and I've, I'm such a lucid dreamer too or livid dreamer. I don't know the right phrase, but I dream about like that moment of dying, like waking up and like, like Noki or thinking like just the different scenarios that I die or something happens in a dream or like you wake up from a terrible thing happening. Like, Oh, thank God that didn't happen. Mm-hmm. But also just kind of like when something's inevitable, you just fall into that. And that's the path, man. You know? Sure. Yeah. The, um, there was like an old, like to the Tibetan idea was that, um, whatever you're thinking about in the moment of death, that's where you go to the next, right. It's, and so that's like goal, the homes. 
Well, yeah, and their goal is uh, to say is to be saying the name of God uh, in the moment of their death, so that they can rejoin with God instead of being thrown back yeah. on the wheel. And and it's you thought about your, and you're losing your last moments of life to a cult. Yeah, and you thought about your dog, and now look at you, dude. <laughs> you're just, you're <laughs> That's what I'm you're saying, dog, dude. dude. I think something's happening, <laughs> and you now got some dog darn thoughts, dude. Dog gone it. <laughs> Dude, the other day I got off of work early because I made an excuse up that my wife fell and she twisted her ankle. <laughs> and the following day, she fell off of a stool like I predicted Damn, or like I lied up. to. And she didn't, twist, she, she didn't twist her ankle, but she has a fucking massive like on her shin. Uh, She's got this cursed massive, her, I know, dude. I'm like, Damn. we predict the future on this podcast. Those, those dude. Spanish people, dude. And then, I, and, then, and then I was like, I, I, I mentioned that to her and I was like, in two days, you're going to come into a large sum of money. <laughs> And I get paid tomorrow, dude. dude. What the fuck? You think I'm fucking with you? <laughs> yeah, dude. Crazy. Yeah, that's really crazy. My dreams have been weird too, but my dreams have been like normal life. Like the other day, I I dreamt that the dogs got on the couch because we put like this fence on the couch so the dogs don't get on the couch while we sleep. Because mm. they just fucking lose so much hair, dude. Like so much hair and I have three dogs. I feel that, dude. And it's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's hard. <laughs> a ton of these shit. Keeps, dude. dude. That sucks. Have keeps, man. And my name is Dr. Fauci. We're still working on that one. <laughs> <laughs> still have COVID. We still have AIDS. Yeah. Come on. Give me that complicated. Give me hair. Like, give, give me some follicle up here, bro. Difficult. <laughs> follicle. <laughs> King Just give me a little. Oh, shit. But I had a dream that the dogs like tore that down and got on the couch, and then I woke up. And I was like headed to the living room expecting the dogs to be on the couch. Mm. But like, you know, it's it's almost like a sense of when you're like in between sleep and awake. It's all it's like that type of reality. Sleepwalking. Sedated. Daywalking. Yeah, something like that. I know dude. what that's all about. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Shout out my lab, dude. Keep funding <laughs> us. <laughs> Keep funding Stop us. Stop calling me your lab. I'm not your lab. <laughs> not you're anymore. a beagle, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We don't call I'm with Pedro anymore. now. They lost their name when they. Bro, I'm working for this motherfucker. You you get the same treatment. So. <laughs> it's all a conspiracy, yeah. folks. Yeah, that's what it is, dude. Conspiracy facts. I think it's a conspiracy to avoid confronting death because I think it's wild that you guys and everybody else in the world it seems like can just like uh, can just be like oh, I'm not, I don't who cares you know like. But it's not who cares. What do you get? What can you do? I mean, ignoring considering it feels like who cares that's all i mean so it's not maybe who cares but it's like so to say what can you do is to just assume there's nothing you can do why would you assume that oh, but you live in the you in, literally can't you do live, anything about death but, and but you also live in the way that you're not you fearing know? death every day you can't live life being I didn't afraid say be to afraid. die but i am I constantly thinking, thinking about it but that's what i mean is like we don't we don't have any concept of what happens after right you know what i mean if we're so are we just relegating it to like uh, like nothing happens or whatever happens there's no avoiding it so you know i'll just like so is you are you saying basically just live your life the best that you can according to what you think and it doesn't matter what happens after at that point well it doesn't matter but i feel like your actions in your life will have some kind of determination of what happens in your next life not the 60 seconds right before you die i feel like all the all the moments all the things that you're mm -hmm. doing prior to that have way more importance to what your life is and what it means than 60 seconds before the bomb bursts. Sure. But I mean, that's the, the idea is not just like, Ooh, be ready for that 60 seconds. The idea is how you live your life is, is gearing towards the moment of death so that you can be prepared for whatever the next journey is. It's training. It's not, you know, it's, it's, so it's the idea different, different of different form of training. Yeah. It's the idea of training so that if you ever are attacked, you can defend in the battle. You know, it's like basically mm. when death comes, are you going to be ready to meet it? Mm. You know, and so like, and it's like, you know, try, trying to make it so that people aren't afraid when they die. I don't know, man. You should be a therapist. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's an you. interesting consideration. <laughs> like, because I, cause I, that's, I mean, uh, Jordan Peterson said this. It's not my idea, but. Justin, first off. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, life is a life is a horror as a foreground to a mystery you know the horror is all the suffering and then the mystery is what happens and why are we here where are we going you know yeah and i don't, I, do, I feel like that is is thrown to the side and just put on the, on the back burner now so much you know with but our it's like current COVID lifestyle with Fauci, dude 
Yeah, but I mean, it's like every. It is like that. Like every every possible distraction that we can possibly have to avoid confronting the mystery of being. That's only and gonna that's get worse. That's what technology. Just the bystander. That's everything that's happening. It's like technology. We're getting sucked into that that next vortex. I feel like that. Like and we're sucking the, you into. Yeah. I mean, it's get, it's harder to have a cult and these bigger, especially a huge control of the mass of like these deeper, more like human thoughts when we're just so distracted by every quick little thing. I mean, and we're part of that machine as well. And thank you for listening. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Cause we're like just creating and just talking like, I don't know. It's like, it, you, it is easy. Like start scrolling the way that it's like reels. You have to start doing that now, these shorts and mm. the content gets quicker and quicker. Like we are taken farther and farther away from really looking in and like, but you have Just a choice stare. on what content you find on that too, to some degree. You like it nah, is. here you go, defending you. your addiction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. <clears throat> My Twitter probably looks way, way different than you know. I don't know. Um, so it doesn't anybody's. have Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> but I'm, but li- <laughs> but I'm talking specifically about the social media and all that stuff. That's what I mean. Like. Our two feeds, n- nobody's two Netflixes look right, the same. Yeah, as you're saying, yeah. So it's like, it, you know, we're modulating our reality on there. And so you do have a choice as to what content comes up. Yeah. You know? True. True chains. Hell yeah. So that's just what I mean. I think it's I think it's interesting. It almost feels like we relegate those decisions to just, oh, we're so influenced and stuff. And it's just like nobody's taking any, uh, like, action it, it's that bystander effect. We're all just looking and, and waiting for somebody to do something. But I mean, yeah. isn't what you're doing 60 seconds before the bomb goes off influenced by something that you read or learned or watched anyways, like you praying to God or whatever you were doing to try to prepare yourself for death. Like that's also, are we on the same page here? I'm not sure what you're bringing into the, it's like praying to different gods, Right. That's kind of what you're saying. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> yeah. We're Let's getting just like live, dude. Song. That's yeah. a mystery. Man. <laughs> <laughs> and on to the song. And are we gonna play out with something, dude? That's got some special well. for us. We're gonna sing you out, folks. After you, you, bummer CJ last 20 minutes, dude. Yeah. What a Halloween! Like that, was, that was so spooky. <laughs> getting inside oh, of sorry, his head. Dad. That was like the worst haunted <laughs> yeah. house ever, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking about real no, shit, it's, dog. No, it's a comedy podcast. Don't worry about it, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> well, don't be funny about real shit, dog. Yeah. I don't know what I'm no, saying. No, you were funny the whole time. <laughs> it was hilarious. Funny looking, dude. I was the straight line, dude. Look at me. Me and the boys got together here to bring you a little song at the end of this mm-hmm. podcast here. Get get your guitar. Get your guitar, Nick. Alec, Let's... get the pi- pistol ready. <laughs> yeah. You got your spoons? <laughs> spoon it up. I want you to spoon me, big daddy. And uh, <laughs> folks, this is for you. I mean, we're just singing. Uh, we're singing to Fauci. We're singing to America. To me. We're singing. This is the Fauci anthem, dude. To the dogs that got put down. And I'm proud to be an American where at least we hoard TP. And I won't won't forget forget the dogs that died to protect me from disease. And I proudly stand up next to you and defend her against the gays. Ain't no doubt I'm closeted. God bless the USA. That's beautiful, man. So patriotic. Amor y paz. Give him the fifth shot. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>